Welcome to Uncover, presented by Foot Action and Revolt. We are coming to you from Capsule 213 in downtown Los Angeles. Now, I'm excited to be joined by two amazing creative minds. First, the vision behind some of your favorite album covers from Eminem to Aaliyah and Outkast. This man is definitely a hip-hop icon, and his impact and influence is un. Paralleled, legendary photographer Jonathan Mannion. <laughs> Next to him, we have a rapper, MC, street poet, record label owner, yeah, sneaker connoisseur, all that, sports aficionado, all that, all around G. Yeah, my dude, Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> We've come together in this space to have an intimate, inspiring discussion with these great leaders and influencers in photography, music, and street culture as we delve into the past, the present, and future. And it's only right that Foot Action is a conduit for this conversation as they remain at the epicenter where style, art, and hip-hop culture collide. All right, let's get this going. This is Uncover. <laughs> Now, we want to give you, the fans, an insider look behind the music, behind the creative process, and of course, behind the cover. Jonathan, we have selected some iconic album covers that you have shot, and we want to get a little deep into the stories behind each one. Now, Freddie, I got a little, little job for you, a little test that I'm going to give you, all right? Behind test. me, behind me. What kind of test? <laughs> you're good, you're good. It's be easy. <laughs> I'm going to show you a snippet right behind me, a preview of every single album that we're going to be talking about. All right? So, uh, you guys ready? Yeah. I'm with it, I'm with it. All right, let's run number one. Bam! That's easy, bro. That's, re it? that's reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt, Jay-Z. One of the best albums of all time, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the best, that's, one, that's definitely one of the best album covers of all time, for sure. Appreciate that. Now, I heard that the original name for this album wasn't, was not going to be yeah, correct. Reasonable Doubt. Tell me about that. Yeah, originally the album was called Heir to the Throne, and I think that, you know, Jay sort of felt that it was presumptuous. He wanted people to choose him as the next uh, man destined for the throne. He let it kind of let the jury decide, essentially, you know, and then it went to reasonable doubt. So I had a whole set of ideas. This album cover would have been something totally different had that been the title and remained the title. On this cover, I see fashion. I see more of a, of a mobster style. It, it, back then, it was, you know, hip-hop was a little more rugged. It was more street. Why, why go with, with the suit? For me, my, my foundation is in, you know, I'm a classically trained photographer. So that's sort of the lane that I was in. And my spirit was attached to really doing stories that were meaningful ones for hip hop. I felt everything was just on a background and another color background and another color background. For me, I wanted to tell a deeper story. I wanted one single image to stand for a thousand words and I wanted everybody to fill it in. So really that's where it began. They showed up with like $7,000 suits that they had just bought and just had tailored. I shot it literally on the roof of my building on 72nd and Riverside in Manhattan. And it was, uh, you know, this solarium and Classic, all on film, no digital. You had to know that you were getting the shot. I mean, this is a timeless photo that could have been taken an hour ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. I mean, this is about style. Yeah. And style is lasting and your own personal, you know, sort of take on it. This album cover, title, and everything, you know, influenced a lot of my music. You know, it wouldn't be a Freddie Gibbs without a Jay-Z. It wouldn't be a lot of, you know, it wouldn't be a J. Cole without a Jay-Z or a Kendrick Lamar, you know, guys of that nature, you know what I mean, if, if not for Jay-Z. So, I mean, you know, we always got to give it up to Jay-Z for sure. I mean, we, we were there to disrupt, you know, and, and he knew that he had something special to deliver as a product in 1996 to the world. Like, I mean, this was, and I think probably remains, if you still, if you ask him now, remains his favorite album. This is, this is why people, you know, it still resonates with them today. I mean, it's, it's so important, I think, what we did that we just sh shook it up a little bit, you know? So uh, let's get into our next 
snippet here. All right, okay. Oh, this on, is I know that one. Our next image for you. That's one of my favorite artists of all time. Another Who? one. Mine too. Who is DMX. That? that is Flesh on My Flesh, Blood on My Blood album cover. Now, Jonathan, tell me uh, about this. Was it real blood? If I told you that, I have to kill you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to kill. You. So, so tell me about that. What, what, what so, you flesh in my flesh, blood in my blood was the only sort of uh, piece of information that I received from Def Jam, and I said, "Look, can I do anything that I want?" And they were like, "Yeah, go for it, man. Take it as far as you want." I was like, "As far as I want." <laughs> and they were like, "Yeah, go for it." So, like, you know, we had a full day planned. So this is your idea. He was so yeah. This is entirely my idea. He wasn't like, no. He, hey, Jonathan. Uh, it's like my man's. I want blood on me. <laughs> No. What? I mean, look, the title does lend itself, right? So, like, you're, the way that I work, I always process the information, right? I have a different set of influences anyway. I was reading about, I mean, everything. Color theory, the, you know, the meaning of red and the, and the sort of power of violence and then the white and the calm. And it's sort of related to the prayers that he was saying in his, in his work. And then, you know, that he might just, you know, bite your head off if you come at him wrong, you know? So all of these kind of things and sensibilities, I'm kind of weaving into the thing. So that was why there was the stark white and the red. This, this album is, is complete. It's like almost night and day when it comes to, to the Jay-Z Reasonable Doubt album cover. Sure. But uh, he was, you know, as, as Jay-Z disrupted his own system of what he was looking at, this is X. X had a whole different vibe that he was bringing to the table. This was rough rugged, you know, catering to the every man, the, uh, men with like more struggle. He was speaking to a different audience. He did not want to get in this blood. You know, he was like, so you want me to get in the blood? Like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, you're, you're getting in. Have I led you wrong yet? And he was like, no, but you know, I got these pants on and I don't want to ruin my pants. I was like, there's 50 other pairs of pants in styling. You know, like, let's, let's go for this, man. Like, look, you got to trust me. And he was like, okay, fine. You know, and I, I heard only recently he was like, yeah, it was cold <laughs> and it got in my eye and it burned, which I actually did know and I felt bad. But, you know, I had goosebumps the entire time that I was shooting. I knew that we were creating something that was going to have a major impact and a lasting impact, you know, and uh, <laughs> that was a, positive. Uh, you know, we, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freddie. When, when it comes to DMX, man, you see, you see this cover. Uh, I know you're a big fan. How did DMX Correct. inspire your music? I mean, um, we both bald heads, so, you know, like we kind of got, got the same haircut, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, his intensity, you know, as a rapper, period, you know, definitely uh, inspired me. His melodies, uh, you know, he was, you know, doing a lot of, like, singing on his records, you know what I mean? I mean, you look at rap game now, I mean, I don't know who's a rapper, who's a singer, or, you know, whatever, but, like, he... You know, he kind of like intertwined both of those, you know what I mean, with his melodies and, you know, the prayer concepts and everything. I mean, that whole Def Jam 2000 era, you know what I mean, was 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 great, you know what I mean, with him, Jay-Z, Method Man, Red Man, all those albums coming out at that time. I, like I said, man, I was a, a kid then, so I remember those coming out and I definitely bought all those, so. He consistently pushed the, uh, the, the envelope on this album, previous albums, uh, and his music. How, how do you push the envelope? Uh, you know what, man, just... Um, you know what, man? The, the moment this stops being fun, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? So every day, every moment of this is, is fun for me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it might be a lot of street content and, you know, hard issues and stuff like that in my music. But, man, when you see me, I'm smiling, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm loving my job. So as far as me pushing the envelope, you know what I mean? It's just me just having fun. I just look at it like, man, like, as long as I'm having fun and I'm amused doing this, then, you know, hey, God put me in a good position. I'm just taking advantage of it, you know? That's real, man. Yep. Sure. Now, Foot Action is always looking to push the style envelope with new and exclusive fashion options for men. For example, the brand just released a new exclusive product line, Bespoke, developed to allow Foot Action shoppers a new way to highlight their self-expression and freedom, which I'm rocking right now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Am I hosting or am I modeling? <laughs> How does your personal style allow you to express yourself, Freddie? Usually when you see me, I just got on like sweats. You know what I mean? Pretty much. Because uh, I don't know. I'm like on stage. It's, it's hot. You know what I mean? In the airport, I want to be comfortable. At home, I want to be comfortable. So I'm just always, I'm always comfortable and I can get away with it. 
Look, I think it's also practical. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at what we do. I mean, we are, you know, it's not a corporate environment that we're in. You know, like I'm rolling around on the dirt trying to get the, the right angle shooting Black Rob or X or somebody, you know, yeah. like I come and I just, you know, beat up the gear. Do you wear, do you wear no, nice man, shoes wear when you go out? I good stuff. Yeah? I wear like Yeezys and shoots like and walk through the mud and I drive sneaker collector is crazy but <laughs> yeah, like you know i'm I'll, here to rock the joints yeah man. i'm I, I, somebody came in my house the other day and they was like man you know you got these shoes and they they dirty i'm like i wear them you know what i'm saying i'm like I, i'm like bro i don't i don't put i don't buy a pair of sneakers and sit them in a glass and admire them and let you like i got them things on i got like it's just a pair of shoes to me you know yeah. what i'm saying like i don't that that don't it don't matter yeah you get them dirty you just get another pair I go get another foot pair, action right. is here for that <laughs> right. That's what I heard. That's, That's what true. I, my sources tell me. Yeah, go get you another foot action. Has some NMDs that are green that that they're gonna let that you, you like. walk with tonight. Yeah. yeah. That's what they told me. <laughs> they you didn't know. tell me that at all. They didn't tell me that at all. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, I got another test. Another little snippet here for you. All right, I got that one too. Another what is one this of one? my favorite albums. That's the game, the documentary. Yep. <laughs> This cover, Jonathan, is, is, is super West Coast, man. From the gold Daytons to the Converse, Chuck Taylors. What was the inspiration uh, behind this look? That's a badass album cover, man. I'm sorry. Like, I even, like, see, see here's the thing about, like, images that I kind of put out there in the world, right? I kind of let them go. You know what I mean? You sort of, like, birth these children, and you're like, okay, good luck. And you push them out the nest, <laughs> and then they go. Like, I know that I took it. I can tell the stories behind it. But, like, somehow this now belongs to the people. Yeah. It takes on kind of a, a life of its own. I had photographed him just prior with Dr. Dre, Eve, Busta um, at the Ambassador Hotel. It was for XXL. It was sort of the, the new aftermath. And we sort of, we just hit it off. He's like, you're doing my album. I was like, wow. okay, incredible. So I jumped on the phone with him and he said, look, you know, I want to pay homage to the people that allowed me uh, into this game. That was paying tribute to Tupac, to Easy e to Dre, to DMX, um, you know, and, and others, countless others, you know. But really it was about establishing, um, letting the elements represent the bigger picture of culture. You know, this was really like I wanted the Daytons, the 100 spoke gold Daytons you know, to really represent that lifestyle, that Cali lifestyle, the car culture, you know, and, and you know, again, the, just the flavor of it being gold. Like, these are all considerations that we made as we were going through. And, yo, he was on. He was like, you know, I've spoken to him about this, and he was like, look, I was a 25-year-old kid. I was cool. Like, this was my moment. You know, artists have these little sweet spot moments where they just dominate, and this was his moment. Like, all eyes were on him. You know, and, and he delivered. Freddie, what did this album, you think, mean to, to Los Angeles, mean to, to the West Coast? When this era of music came out, that's when I started making music. And, I, you know, I was actually signed to Interscope at the time when this came out. So I was seeing all of this roll out and, you know, all the hype that was coming around, you know, coming along with, you know, the Games album and all of that. And, you know, it was, it was just, it was magical. You know what I mean? It was real inspiring. Now, each city has its own style staples. What Chuck Taylor or Vans is to LA, Timberland Boots are to New York or NYC. Foot Action offers a curated selection of products in each of its major cities around the US. What city would you say has the most iconic style? It's a tough one. And, and you are in LA. Yeah, I'm in LA. I, <laughs> LA, man. <laughs> You crazy West Coast, you know what I'm saying? I can't say I can't say no other city. Hey, LA, man, I ain't got nothing else to say. Don't even ask me that question no more. You don't get me, you can get me jumped out. I live here. But nah, nah, I'm I'm, I'm keeping it real though. You know what I mean? I'm from Gary, Indiana. So, you know, that's right next to Chicago. You know what I mean? If you at, if you ask a guy from Chicago, they gonna say, you know, they got the best style. You know what I mean? If you know, I got homies from Brooklyn, if you ask them. They got the best style. So, you know, it's, you know, everybody put their own twist on things. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all good. So, Freddie, I got another one for you, man. Another one? Another one. What? Hint, hint. hint. What? Squad, that is a sod right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> that's DJ Khaled album, man. Come on now. That is, that is, DJ Khaled. That's a, that's, that's a little baby arm. I know who baby arm that is. That's a sod right there, man, for sure. DJ Khaled, great for you. Boom. Is this Aww, a pizza? Oh, ain't that cute. 
Ain't that cute. Huh. Come on, man. Assad is a sweetheart, man. He is. He like, was, really man. as joyful as you see him on social media. And I know that, you know, Khaled can sometimes be exhausting with his messaging and, like, just, <laughs> it, again, another one. Another one. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Another one. I know. Right. But uh, that kid, as sweet as you see him every single time that he's on there, he really is that. You know, it's a, a real testament to... You know, I think also how hip hop has grown. He really is so motivated to give that boy everything that he deserves, everything that maybe he never had, and yeah. certainly everything that he's worked hard for now to achieve, to be able to have, you know, to make this kid's, you know, entire dreams come true. But I mean, if you're a father, that's phenomenal. You know, that's got to hit home for you right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, it's just a, that picture just embodies so much. You know, it's a testament to, you know, fatherhood, to, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a cute ass baby. I mean, yeah. you can't really, <laughs> yeah. you can't get around that. You know what I mean? If you a dad, that just hits you, you know, right here. That's the youngest music producer, executive music producer of all time, right, right. there. Aside, I see, I see at the bottom. This one doesn't seem like it was edited in in a sense. Is that is that an arm? Is that is that Khaled down there? Was he holding? It might him up? be. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the last shot of the day. We shot it in Miami. I'll paint you the picture, right? He was in the tub with his son. Um, and then and then I was like, it's like Scarface. It's like that corner of Scarface. We both kind of thought it at the yeah. same time. And he was like, okay, wait a minute, watch this. And he was just like, <gasps> and like <laughs> dove under and, and held his son up from underneath, you know, while the mother sort of, you know, put the arms on the side and just like, he just laid back like, you know, like he invented the pose, you know what I mean? Like, like Scarface emulated him in yeah. the bathtub. You know, but he just, he had it. He's such a little sweetheart. And, you know, it's when ideas in the moment, when you're creating an idea, you know, when it comes together and gels, like it just really resonates. We knew we had something that was special. When the album was, was about to drop in the promos, you had him, you know, the, the jacuzzi shot, you had him with the baby lion. Uh, you, lion! You had, you had, you had, Sorry. Lion! I lion! <laughs> like what, what made you pick or what made him Pick this one, you think? You know, I'm, I'm surprised, to be honest, you know, because we had, uh, so I did major key as well, right? It was a real lion, just to, you know, kill that real quick, yeah. Real lion, you know, flowers upon flowers. And it was, it was a phenomenal kind of moment that he really, like, he was present for. He was in that throne. The lion is literally where Freddie's feet are right there. And he's just like, cool, I got I'm this. Out. And he was, he was nervous. <laughs> He was nervous about it, but this was now the continuation. This was the second part of the story. This is now passing that torch to his son and making him part of that story. So as he was an adult with an adult lion and like a gang of flowers, now this was about holding his son, the young prince, up high, putting him in his own little baby throne, and then having this baby lion that was just, man, if, you've ever, if you ever get a chance to hold a lion, it's a whole other feeling. <laughs> Like it just, I had a little moment with this lion and it, it like, it was so calming. It you was, had a moment with a was, lion. It was un, <laughs> like, pause. Yeah, I mean, like, do we still pause things? But I'm yeah, out. just holding this lion, the little spirit of, of an animal that like in six or eight months is gonna be like, you know, it's gonna in kill you mode. in six, eight months. Yeah, <laughs> just like slice you, like, nah, I'm, a, I'm still a lion. I'm out. <laughs> you know? But uh, Freddie, yeah, it was, it was an incredible experience, man. Sounds, yeah. sounds amazing. Freddie, so you talked about being a father. Have you ever thought of having your children on a cover? Um, I thought about it, but Khaled took my idea, so nah, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> but I got a little daughter. She too, you know what I mean? She loved the camera. I mean, she be doing her own photo shoots and all that. She worked, you know, worked for a bunch of different companies and stuff like that. So she'd be down to do it. I just, you know, like I said, Khaled took my idea, so I ain't gonna do that yet. <laughs> All right, that's all the time we have. I want to thank Jonathan Mannion and Freddie Gibbs for coming through. Yes, and having this dope conversation. That was an amazing conversation that we had. A big shout out to Revolt and Foot Action for putting this incredible event together. You keep it going for that, keep it going for that. And for being the backdrop for this inspiring conversation on art, style, and music. Until next time, I'm Mondo Fresco, and thank you for watching Uncover. Yeah.